Hello, Stacy. Uh, it's Mike Androli here. We just emailed and I, isn't technology wonderful? I'm going to send you a message of the workout because I think it'll be a lot easier to see and you can, you can give me some feedback immediately. If I just wrote it, it would be a little more difficult to get with uh, what type of ideas I'm trying to bring across to you. So please, any comments, feedback, I appreciate the opportunity. I would love for you to think about me in the future. If this doesn't happen, but I am completely willing, I'll work myself to the bone for you. And here we go. Most people have uh, still the misconception that they can do spot training. If they have a uh, belly fat, they can do crunches or sit-ups will affect uh, them reducing the, the body fat around their stomach, which is called spot training, which is uh, proven to be false. So we need to tighten up their core with exercises to banish the belly fat. We need to work exercises that are gonna burn a lot of calories, also provide a little bit of resistance training at the same time. Any of these exercises can be modified. I'm gonna give you the high level ones and then if you'd like, I'd give you the modifications for all of them. So we're gonna do three things. We're gonna do Everest mountain climbers, which is slight variation on mountain climbers where you actually pull your foot up uh, higher and what we're gonna do is tighten every single muscle in the body. If you do, if they even do this for one to, to two, maybe three minutes a day, they're gonna reduce body fat around their stomach, around their entire body by burning off calories and also providing a lot of resistance training. Second exercise we're gonna do is power squat thrust into jumpers. And there's modifications because it is a little bit on the more aggressive side, but there's not an exercise you can do with your body weight that burns more calories that you can do anywhere. And in a few easy steps, anyone can learn to do it. So that's a fantastic one. And then the third one would be something I've been doing, which is, is obviously now it's a trendy thing, but Jersey Shore Crunches. I'm from New Jersey. I understand the mentality behind it. This is a Jersey Shore Crunch, which is going to burn a lot of calories while you're doing it. It hits your midsection, every, everything, your abs, butt, hamstrings, all your muscle groups will be involved. It's um, a higher, um, not intensity, but a little more difficult. So I can show you alternatives if you need to. So we're gonna start out with the Everest mountain climbers. Call back here. So a normal mountain climber, you would see most people just pedaling their feet here. What we wanna do is, what's really important and on push-ups as well, they wanna get their hands below the chest. Okay, this is gonna make sure all the muscle fibers are triggered underneath their triceps, their shoulders, their biceps, abs, back, butt, hamstring, core is just gonna engage simply by doing this proper posture. There's a curve in the lower back, butts out. So you're gonna set up in that position. Feet are all the way out, and you're gonna drag the foot or pull the foot all the way up as high as you can go. If you're not that flexible, you, you will be when you practice for a while. So what we wanna do is pull the foot all the way up. All the way up, so hips are going down a little bit. Back is straight, abs are tight. Your, your upper body's gonna get shredded just from flexing the muscle the whole time and stabilizing yourself as you drive your knee up. You're burning a lot of calories and you're gonna certainly banish the belly fat doing these Everest mountain climbers. Another good one would be power squat thrust into jumpers. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep you in camera view. Keep in mind. Okay, so you're gonna start with a normal squat. Back is completely straight. You want your butt out, you wanna curve your lower back so your chest is out, okay? This is gonna protect, protect your lower back in a squat. What you wanna do is squat down, place your hands on the ground, you're gonna kick your feet out, push up, pull your feet back in, jump up. Try to get the camera a little bit better here. And you're trying to keep your body relaxed as you sink down into it. You can do a modification where you're just doing a squat and a jump, or you're slowly going down, bring your feet back, putting your knees on the ground, push up. It involves a lot of muscle groups. We can break it down in three or four pictures if you'd like. Last one more interesting is my Jersey Short Crunch. Okay, you start out on your back, 
feet straight out. I'm going to keep my neck up so I can explain it, but we would have their chin up to protect the neck from getting stretched. Feet straight out. Roll your knees in. Push them up. Bring them down slowly into a jackhammer crunch. Again, lay back. Feet straight out. Roll your knees into your chest. Explode up. Then you're going to sit up into a jackhammer crunch. And those are three things you can do today, anywhere. You don't need a fancy gym. You don't need any exercise equipment. You're gonna get out of breath. Even if you just do it for 30 seconds each exercise to begin. These are things that will absolutely work. They are probably gonna be very break, breaking news because you rarely see something that actually will burn the amount of calories you need to, to banish the belly fat.